Hello and welcome to another episode of my F122 driver career mode here today for part 41 for the Mexican Grand Prix but before we get into that the FIA have done a regulation change so then that has caught all the teams out including me we had a very poor qualifying we're starting all the way down in P9 and here is the rest of the grid take a look at our starting grid for today's race Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he will start from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Pierre Gasly, and Sonoda, Verstappen, Perez, Brown, and Esteban Ocon, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Mick Schumacher, and Russell, Stroll, Albert, Guan Yu Zhou, and Nicholas Latifi. Schwartzman, they've taken a grid penalty. And Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. That's it then. It's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. So it's going to be a one-stop race. We had a very poor qualifying. We actually missed time to our final run, so we didn't actually manage to get to the line in time. But we've got live commentary for the race. It's going to be a dull one-stop. Here we go. Oh, We're racing in Mexico and we've had another full start and we've been absolutely mugged as we have had no grip at the start. Science is already through and my plan is around to not very well as we gain those places back. We nearly made contact there with Max. As they're all they're all messing about here and Max seems to run through. But we've managed to somehow run away through Paris as there we've got. Max has made a mega start, we're breaking too early here, we're going to go up the inside of the Alpha Tauri and we try and go around the outside of Perez as well. It's not going to work for us though, but we're going to go around the outside and a tricky double right under on Perez. We've made him look a little bit silly and we've gone past him. Now we're coming in after Max. We've gained, we've ultimately straight away executed and really written off our ball start. So slow in a straight line. And there goes Max and Gasly. Trying to go around the outside. He swapped in the dummy. Gasly's defended it. Now we are going to try and do the sneaky manoeuvre. I have we've got DRS. Oh, I think there's only one protection zone, isn't there? Max is going to go try and go to the outside. we will break a bit earlier for this. Don't know, but now look at the exit. So we're following Max here into the tricky left-handers. Can we possibly get past? We've got some good pace in these early stages on these medium tyres. We are hunting Max, but we've dropped a little bit back. And that's not going to bother us as we send it late. Catch out the Dutchman. Go off the track nearly. Go straight on into the barrier. But we get the job done. Only a little bit there with truck limits, but we'll ignore that and we're ahead of Max Verstappen. And now we can get after Gasly. We're closing in on Gasly, we're closing, we're closing, we're closing, we're closing, but we're not closing enough. Oh, that was a bit of a corner cut. Oh, and get it back, we've got a great exit and the DRS. Left to right, left to right, left to right. Gazi doesn't know where to defend, he's going to defend the inside, but we can go tight. And we've got the job done on Gazi. It may even know we can get after Yuki Sonoda, who's also on the socks. So after we overtook Gazi, it was Max Verstappen's turn next. Gasly and the sister Red Bull not really want to fight in that too hard. And St. Maximus is past. Right, like going at it though. Sinodra and Hamilton. We yeah, are much of going at it side by side. It looks like Sinodra may have just got some cars. Just, like, 
Now your eyes go to him. That night. And that's brought us right into play. We're riding that P4 potentially now. We could maybe pick up the double tire. Hamilton's gonna have another go at Sinaida and possibly a violet to things. Set him up. Not quite. Not the accident, I don't think. We're gonna have to go for a dive bomb if we don't want the move. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Do it on the inside, a little bit of time And we're up into P5. Jump then. Come on, Carl. Come on, Carl. We've got him. Down the inside at turn 4. Up into P4. No, we can get after the top of this. Lando is at next. 5 seconds at the round. So we managed to rotate Sonoda and get away. And now Sonoda on those soft tyres is coming into box on lap 13. And now Max Verstappen without DRS for Lewis Hamilton is hunting his former championship rival down the pit straight, the very long pit straight, he's going to go to the outside, Lewis has to go defensive, so he's offline, and Max does the cut back, and now the side by side through the S section, who can get the exit, it looks like Lewis just has, and now they're drag racing down the back straight, these two battling just like it was in 2021, Lewis has the inside line, that goes to the inside line for Max, Max gets the exit, and Max is past. Lewis Hamilton there. Ooh, what a battle that was. On to lap 17 now. And Lewis Hamilton is pitting to make his one and only stop of the day onto the hard compound tyres. But where does he come out relative to Yuki Tsunoda? He boxed a couple of laps ago. Out of the pits he comes. Where is the Alpine? There's the Alpine. Tsunoda has stayed ahead, the overcut strategy hasn't worked as this is Sonoda breaking late down the inside into Nicholas Latifi into turn one now Lewis Hamilton who's only just beat out Sergio Perez there is now after the Canadian he needs to get the job done quickly here if he wants to get after Yuki Sonoda he's going to try and go to the outside just like how Max overtook him but he's too far back and had to back out of that one now Lando Norris in the lead of the Grand Prix because of Leclerc and Alonso at front boxing. He's going to box on to the mediums to get him to the end. Interesting. Surely they can't go that far but McLaren thinks so. But there is Alonso. Has he beat them out? Because Leclerc is right on the back of Fernando. They're going to be free wide. Going into the first corner. Lando may have got the job done in the stops. But he's being mugged into turn one. He's still fighting Fernando. Can he stay ahead of Alonso? No. A great job by McLaren. Has been undone before he gets to the first corner. He's been absolutely mugged there by the Ferrari and by the Alpine. So we've managed to go really far on these tyres, but where do we come out now? To these three. And the answer is not that far off, you can just see us in the background. There's Leclerc from Alonso, from Lando, and then from us, and we're a long, long way clear of Max Verstappen. He's a little dot there in the back of your screen. Alpine are having more issues as Fernando Alonso has an issue Mark told me but he's still fighting you see he's still fighting Lando Lando's trying to go to the outside Lando's actually on the, on the hard tyres 
and out to the inside into the final corner and it's job done is it Lance they still fighting but that engine issue if it is an engine issue is not helping him and Lando with the DRS rockies past that Alpine still quick in a straight line somehow with, uh, with whatever issue he has in the cockpit but Lando he then has DRS here to get away No, no, we don't have an issue. We don't have an issue. Don't, don't. Run for a podium here, and I really need this result. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! You know you don't want to. Inside, get off the side of me! Doing that. So this is a replay of Alonso's point of view for the move, and he just he just keeps turning into the side of me. When there's all that lovely grass of a runoff, he's forgetting how to turn right. Is now is this man isn't it he's been so so good Charles Leclerc wins the Mexican Grand Prix Lando's gonna finish second and we are gonna get our first podium and some valuable points on the board we aim for a podium and we get a podium nice in Mexico then and what a victory it is after an incredible Grand Prix Anthony tell me what was it that helped them achieve this success well this was a real team victory they put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track the driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. It was a win then for Charles Leclerc. Another win back to back wins with Monza. And I believe that now means he's taking over the lead of the championship. We get on to that in a second. We get far to the lap, ninth to third, I'm very happy with that. We aimed for a podium. Before the race and we got the podium we got a bit of a change we can quite catch Lando and have a little battle at the end, but we'll take that. Sight and say, good for us. Awful race, only picking up two points. Actually, with us getting a fastest lap, that puts us on 16 points. So, if no one else scored, we would be leading the championship by a point. And this is the state of play then. Going into the final race of the 2024 season. 
24 points to cover the top four. They're the only drivers in contention. Joe Leclerc very much on for a third consecutive world title. Science was having a good run, but the whole result means he's 19 points behind now. And we a point behind Science now on 20 points back from Leclerc. Lando 24 points back. But there's still 30 points up for grabs this season. We need a miracle to win this championship. We need Leclerc to retire from both the sprint and the actual race and beat Sight and Lando to have a shot at the title. We need a miracle. That, that's not likely to happen. Going into the sprint, we basically need to win the sprint and the race in Brazil with any chance of winning the title. And what happens, happens is very much in Leclerc's favour though. Like I said it back in Bahrain, short seasons, one off weekend can come back to bite me and that last time out and I'm going back to bite us now. So the constructors then will go to the final race, just like the drivers as well. 59 points up for grabs there in terms of 1-2s in the sprint and the actual race. So one win from even me and Lando and two no scores and we're back in it. I think Ferrari would have it on results though. There's still one team still yet to score points in Alfa Romeo. You can see here the regulation changes to the air right and the chassis. That's going to hurt us because I just brought a big upgrade. Yeah, and it's not very helpful for me because we haven't got many R&D points to help McLaren with, with this regulation change but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you for the title decider in Brazil goodbye